In this lesson, I'm going to use the bar graph to illustrate how to use the where clause. So I'm going to go to graph, bar graph, and we have raw data. Suppose we want to do division, and then let's not use the where clause in the beginning. Let's just see what kind of graph we get. Now suppose I only want to see elementary and middle. So I want to remove the high school division. Go back to options and edit. You've got a couple options. You can say where and then type it in. Division does not equal to is the exclamation mark and then equal to. Just imagine that being the not equal to symbol. And then it's going to be not equal to high. It is case sensitive, so if you typed lowercase high, it will not remove that. Let's press compute and see what we got. Okay. It shows me my where clause at the top and notice that the high school division is missing. Options edit. You can also use the build command. Let me erase this, particularly for more complicated where statements. And if you want to make sure you don't misspell something, we click division, add column, does not equal to this symbol here. And then down here, we're going to pick the values. It has my values, particularly when these values get kind of wordy. We don't want to make sure we misspell them and then press add. And once you put in one where clause, it remembers a history of them. So sometimes you can get just pull up the history and slap it in there. Press OK. And again, it's the same thing. So here I just removed one. You could also go the positive route and say where division equals elementary or division equals middle. You have to make sure you put quotes around these values here. If you use the build command, it will automatically put that. Press compute and you get exactly the same thing. So that where command really allows you to filter down the data. I hope that helps.